Now, Eugene, look, your agent calls you up and says, you got the gig, you're going to be playing Lancel Lannister on Game of Thrones. Mm. Do you think, wow, this is great, or do you think, I wonder how many episodes I'm going to get before I'm killed? <laughs> well, I wish I could tell you that I knew exactly what was coming to me. I didn't. When I got the role, I was under the impression this was going to be definitely a sort of period piece and with a lot of sort of drama and, let's say, some adult content to it. But mm. I would have never been able to guess that he goes from being the fact, the figure that he was in the first seasons to where he is now. I actually, I actually got an email from George within the first day, the first six hours of having got the role, saying, this is the layout for Lancel and the five books that I've written so far so pay attention basically and my heart started to flutter when I got that because he, he in the books he undergoes a pretty big change so uh, yeah it was, a, it was a pretty big a quick move to be honest With fans and there's no greater time than an um, exhibition or a show like uh, Supernova to meet the fans the super fans what are they like Game of Thrones fans and um, House of Anubis They're so enthusiastic the thing about them is that, but is that Game of Thrones fans usually have very very composed questions it's not as though they come up to you and sort of go you know tell me everything I want to know what So they've really what's thought the, about it They've really thought about what's your opinion on the cast <laughs> household and I right. sort of go right um, I have to tell you because ironically I don't actually know which house that is and then they'll say I really enjoy the character of I don't know let's say um, Dario Naharis what do you think is going to happen to him and you your world is so separate to, his, to, their, to that character they really mm. enjoy that it's very hard to kind mm. of give them what they want um, but they're very composed they're very organised in what they want to know and they're very enthusiastic at the same time I have, I have never actually met someone who is uh, should we say unhinged they've always been very kind of uh, deliberate with what they want to ask right Mm. And so when we look at something like the costuming on the show, I mean, it's absolutely brilliant. No detail is overlooked. Have you had to wear anything uncomfortable or heavy during hours of filming and thought, who came up with this idea? Well, do, you want to, do you want to hear the worst example of wearing something heavy? Hathor Bjornsson, who plays the mountain in Game of Thrones, oh, yes. who you know, ripped off my colleague's head in episode eight, was <laughs> wearing, he's, he's, he's one of the strongest men in the world, but he's wearing about 30 kilos, worth, it's about 28 <gasps> kilos worth of armour. So it's solid breastplate armour, it's not, not fibreglass. Yeah. And what we had to do in season two before Lancel has his transformation, before he, the, the chains put across his chest, was wear the Lannister armour. Now that's fibreglass, so it's quite light, but... The episode that we filmed of the Battle of Blackwater, it rained on the third day, so we had to suddenly start matching everything in continuity. So what they did is they got a po- they got a, a hose, they put it into the torrential lake that had formed at the bottom of the quarry, and sprayed us all in minus two degree water. Nice. Oh. So, so suddenly all our armor starts to clank because everyone is shivering. Wow. Yeah. We're all covered in blood, which is all which is basically jam. So we're sticky. So yeah, there's been a couple of occasions nice. where it's been <laughs> you felt fairly trapped in your costume. The agent was to ring you today and say which role would you take? They've written a screenplay for the. Life of Hugh Grant or David Beckham or perhaps Russell Brand, who would you pick? Oh, Russell, uh, I would, Russell Brand. Yeah, you Russell, go there? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I would say uh, Russell Brand, David Beckham. Well, I, yeah, I would say probably uh, probably Russell Brand. Yeah. Well, Beckham wouldn't be hard, would it? Got up, kicked the ball, <laughs> met Victoria, got up, kicked the ball. <laughs> got rich. Yeah, got really rich. <laughs> Most challenging Had role ever. Had another tattoo. I'm to remain in the EU. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well done.